My weapon was out of my hand. It was on top of my vehicle. And at that point, I was arrested. Imagine being out with your friends, family, and loved ones, having fun, spending time with one another. Then suddenly, a threat appears. Someone's looking to hurt you or your family. For a member of Firearms Legal Protection, the unimaginable had now become a reality. Burnell Jefferson was driving home one day, and once he got home, he was getting out of his car, and his worst fear came about. Once I saw the young man start reaching inside of his coat pocket, my thought was that this young man is trying to hurt me, hurt me or my brother. And at that point, I defended myself. Thankfully, Mr. Jefferson successfully defended himself against his attacker. However, even though this fight only lasted a few seconds, the good thing is Mr. Jefferson was prepared for what was about to happen, the next fight. Mr. Jefferson now had to deal with the police, the possibility of going to jail, being handcuffed, sitting in the back of a police car, being interrogated. Thanks to Firearms Legal Protection, Mr. Jefferson was prepared for this fight. I called 911. And after the completion of the call 911, the police get there, they instructed me how to handle my weapon, put it on top of my vehicle prior to the police arriving. So when the police got there, my, my weapon was out of my hand, it was on top of my vehicle. And at that point, I was arrested. One thing you have to say about Mr. Jefferson, he was prepared. Mr. Jefferson pulled out his membership card and dialed our hotline number and a local attorney took over at that point. All the weight was relieved off of Mr. Jefferson because he had a firearms legal protection attorney there with him. Once I was arrested, I was sit seated in the back of the police vehicle. Um, still had my form on me. I was able to call firearm legal protection Attorney answered the phone, instructed me to not say anything else. By the time I get to the Southfield Police Department, an attorney would be waiting there to assist me. So pretty often when I get a call from the EMT team at Firearms Legal Protection, um, the first thing that's going through my mind is what kind of case is this? Um, what happened? Um, where is the client at? And what do I need to do to go ahead and get started on the case? Now the difference between that and having a regular client that let's say calls me from the jail is that when somebody calls from the jail, I don't know who they are, I don't know how much the bond is, are they going to be able to afford a bond? Are they going to be able to afford me and the bond? Do I need to tell them to stay in jail? Do I need to say, okay, well you stay in jail and then use your money to hire an attorney? And so when I have a, a call from the firearms legal protection, it helps me out so much more because I have faith that one, I'm gonna get paid, um, and two, that the person's gonna be able to get out of jail, and it's always best for somebody to be out of jail fighting their case versus in jail and fighting their case. When I arrived at the Southfield Police Station, I met um, the attorney and he gave me some insights on uh, what we were gonna discuss. Just based on that brief meeting, it relaxed me. I was very comfortable based on that. So after he and I met, the attorney and I met, we actually went into a room and sat down with two detectives, the attorney, myself, and my brother. They didn't take my brother and interview him separately. Uh, attorney made sure that we stayed together. So they did the interview with my brother and myself and him as well as the two detectives. Uh, they asked me about the incident of the shooting. Once I was through with describing the situation, to my surprise, I was free to go home with my wife and my family. Thank God and fire on legal protection that um, I went home with my family that Friday night, never went to court. That's the last contact that I've had with Southfield in regards to the incident other than picking up my weapon three days after that fact. When the unexpected happens, you can be prepared. Firearms Legal Protection has a plan for you. I would advise anyone that carries a weapon to have Firearm Legal Protection 
as a source because it makes a difference. I'm a father and a grandfather and two great grandkids. So the life, my life could have turned out entirely different had I not had fire legal protection.